हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप ऑल आर गुड एंड सेफ एट होम ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम जगमा वर्ल्ड स्कूल यस ऑफ कोर्स यू आर मिसिंग योर स्कूल बट स्कूल इज नॉट क्लोज स्कूल बिल्डिंग्स आर क्लोज सो यू कैन एंजॉय योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दैट इज लेसन फेस एट योर होम सो एंजॉय एंड जस्ट फॉलो द गाइडलाइंस फ्रॉम योर टीचर एंड स्टे एट होम morning students myself nikha vishwas patel today i am going to teach you grade 7 science lesson number 1 nutrition in plants students we saw that our near home small children are moving here and there kids are growing to toddler and adults day by day so why they are growing day by day because all human beings needs nutrition to grow same as the plants also so suppose you germinate one small seed in your garden so after few days it started to grow so nutrition it means what is mean by nutrition you are you also learn that carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals are component of food till you are eating some vegetables fruits chapati so all these foods need some all foods having some proteins fats vitamins and minerals so these components are called as a nutrition so this nutrition is necessary in plants also as well as human beings also all living organisms require food plants can synthesize food for themselves but animals including humans cannot so when new world is there synthesis what is mean by synthesis synthesis it means making so plants are making their own food by themselves but human beings and animals are depend on the plants so they also get food from plants or animals that eat by the plants thus human and animals are directly or indirectly depend on the plants so i am giving one minute to you think what you have taken in the lunch or in breakfast yes yes you suppose maybe you eaten bindi ki sabji and chapati some dal or roti yes so is if we see the ingredient of dal and roti and sabji suppose you eat bindi so where we get from bindi yes we get bindi from the plants so same as in so human beings are directly or indirectly depend on the plants so now who wants to know how plant prepare their food now same question also have in your mind yes no who also want to know how the plants make their own food so plant is making their food by process of photosynthesis so what is mean by photosynthesis mode of nutrition in plants so plants are the only organism that can prepare their food by themselves by using water carbon dioxide and some some types of minerals the raw materials are present in their surrounding so water plants get water from the soil carbon dioxide carbon dioxide we get from the environment and some minerals near surrounding up is soil also having some types of minerals so plants are absorb minerals from the soil so a plant having two types of veins that is xylem and phloem so xylem and phloem it helps to absorb minerals and water from the soil so the nutrition and ability of organism to cool their bodies yes so suppose we are eating food so after some times we will get the energy from the food so to grow to repair the damaged part of their bodies and provide such provide the energy to carry 
in food and growing day by day. So food also having some building blocks like carbohydrate, nutrient, proteins, vitamins, fats. So whenever we are taking this such kind of foods, so we are getting energy from that. So same as in plants also. Plants also having some water, carbohydrates, sunlight and they are making their own food by they are growing some parts of those plant get damaged. So they can repair their parts by the using of photosynthesis process. Now in plants also having two types. One is autotropic and second another one is a heterotropic. So what is mean by autotropic? Auto. Word auto. Auto it means self. In plants also having two types. One is the autotropic. Auto it means self. And tropic is mean nourishment. So autotropic nourishment it means self nourishment. Is ka madhar aisa hota hai ki jo plants khud ka khana khud banate hai it is called as a autotrox. And another one is the heterotrox. Now you know the meaning. It is completely opposite to the autotrox. So heterotropic it means heteros it means other nourishment. Other nourishment. Some types of climbers are depend on the another plants. It is called as a host plant. So it is a parasite. Parasite it means depend on the another. Now some kids you are some uh, we also some students are also parasites. They are depend on their parents. आपके मम्मी पापा खाना बनाते हैं पैसे कमाते हैं योर पैरासाइट सेम एज इन प्लांट्स ऑल्सो प्लांट्स आर होस्ट ऑटोट्रॉप प्लांट्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ होस्ट एंड हेटरोट्रॉप प्लांट्स इज कॉल्ड एज अ पैरासाइट नाउ पहले पॉइंट्स टू नो व्हाई आवर बॉडी कैन नॉट मेक फूड फ्रॉम कार्बन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वाटर Carbon dioxide from the air is taken in 
plant cells. But human cells are different and plant cells are different. So what is meant by cell? So here one structure of cell is there. So in center this oval or spherical shape it is called as a nucleus. Some liquid is there. It is called as a cytoplasm. And one cell membrane is there. It helps us to give shape to the cell. So it is called as a cell membrane. So tiny unit is called as a cell. Cell is the tiny structure of the part of our body or in plants also. So many cells are come together and form one structure. It is called as a tissue. A group of cells having similar structure and function. It is called as a tissue. So many tissue when collect it become a organ. When more than two or three organs are come together it is called as a organ system. And many organ system when come together it form a body. So cell is the tiny structure of a human body or in plants as well. So next is water and minerals are transported to the leaves by vessels which run like the pipes through all the roots, the stem, the branches and the leaves. In human also having, you saw in your hands or in your eyes, some small small capillaries are there, some small veins are there. So same as in plants also. Plants also having some vessels. They carry the water and nutrients to the plants. They reaches each and every branch of the plants. Then they form the continuous path or passing to the nutrient to reach the leaf. Yes, in human beings, in human body also flowing blood. So same as in plants also carry the vessels, water and water and uh, water to the plants. They are called vessels. You will learn more about the transport of material in plants in chapter number 11. So, in 11 number chapter, is the, in detail, how the vessels are carrying water and nutrition for the plants. Now, Pahel wants to know that what is so special about the leaves that they can synthesize. I already told you the meaning of synthesizing means making. Then Pahili wants to know what is so special about the leaves that they can make food but their other parts plant cannot. Now leaves is the food factory of plants but other parts are not making their food. Then how they carry or how which type of using vessels or something they reach up to the other parts of the plants like stems, roots, how the food reaches there. Now, the leaves have a green color pigment called chlorophyll. Why leaves are in green color? So, what type of pigment is there? The pigment called is the chlorophyll. Due to the chlorophyll, leaves are looks in green in color. So, it helps the leaves to compute the energy to the sunlight. The energy is used to synthesize. It means prepare food can be carbon dioxide and water. So, chlorophyll also help us to prepare food into the plants by using carbon dioxide and water. So, it is called as a photosynthesis. Photo, photo it means light and synthesis means to combine. Photo it means light and synthesis it means to combine. So, suppose uh, we have to prepare some vegetable pulao. Okay, then your mother is cutting various type of vegetables, then rice, then some sun. Side, some spices your mother did. When you combined, when you prepared, your mother prepared, so you need all things together. Yes? After that you can make a vegetable pula. Yes? So same in plants also. Plants need water also, then minerals also, then uh, carbon dioxide also, light also. When all things combine together, then we get the 
food for the plant then we make the food for or food make the plant then so we find that chlorophyll sunlight carbon dioxide and water are necessary to carry out the process of photosynthesis all these things need to food need to prepare the food for plants it is unique process on the earth the solar energy is the compute to buy the leaves and stored in the plants in the form of food thus sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organism sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organism it means plants also animals also and human being also if many of days the sunlight is not there so plant can't grow properly human also human beings also suffer from the skin diseases like that so can you imagine life on the earth in the absence of photosynthesis can you imagine that if photosynthesis process is not there then plant will not grow vegetable will not grow then we can't eat delicious foods why because photosynthesis is the process it get food for the plants if sunlight is not there then how the plant will grow how the photosynthesis process will be there no so we can't imagine that can we can't imagine our life without sunlight in the absence of photosynthesis there would be no with any food the survival of almost all living organism directly or indirectly depend on the plants why because some animals are herbivores some animals are carnivores and some animals are omnivores so what is meant by herbivorous animals herbivorous animals it means that animals are fully depend on plants because they are taking plants for as a food carnivorous animals it means they are depend on the other animals and omnivorous animals it means they are depend on plants as well as animals also human being is the omnivorous animal so beside leaves photosynthesis also taking place in the other green part of the plants in green stem and green branches the desert plants have scales or spine like leaves to reduce loss of water by transpiration this plant this plants have green stem which carry out photosynthesis now you saw in desert also plants yes but their roots are very big in size and their roots are green in color so why in roots also the photosynthesis process is taking place and by the transpiration transpiration it means loss of water so by the process of transpiration they save their water into their stems so photosynthesis process is taking in the leaves green stem and green branches as well all organism is produced during photosynthesis in the absence of photosynthesis life would be impossible on the earth because by the process of photosynthesis we are getting vegetables fruits some carnivorous animals are depend on the plants so we can't imagine life by the process of photosynthesis during photosynthesis chlorophyll containing cell of the leaves in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight use carbon dioxide and water to synthesize carbon carbohydrates by the using of carbon dioxide and water it form carbohydrates this the process of can be represented it into the equation if agar humko photosynthesis ki process agar equation mein likhenge to kaise likhenge carbon dioxide plus water carbon dioxide plus water it forms a carbohydrate so carbon dioxide plus water this arrow is called as a it gives 
Hello kids, do you know how plants make their own food? No? Well, this video elaborates the process of photosynthesis by which plants make their own food. Photosynthesis is the process used by plants to make their own food, or in more complex terms, it is the conversion of light energy into chemical energy by plants. This chemical energy is used by the plants for growth and nourishment. Photo means light and synthesis means putting together in Greek. When humans cook food, some essential things are required, including fire, water, vegetables, etc. Similarly, to make their food, plants also need some essential factors, including light, water, nutrients, soil, etc. Plants get light from the sun water from the ground, and carbon dioxide from the air. All of these factors, including air, water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight, together help plants churn out their own food. Plants have tubes called xylem, located in the stems through which the water from the ground is sucked into the leaves. This system works similar to humans sucking liquids through a straw. The xylem is spread throughout the different parts of the plant, including the stem, branches, and all the way up to the leaves. The xylem transports vital nutrients to the entire plant. Xylems in the plant are like blood vessels in the human body that act as an important means of transportation of water and nutrients. Leaves on the plant have pores, very similar to the pores on the skin of our bodies. These pores are called stomata. These stomata are responsible for the exchange of gases. The carbon dioxide present in the air, which is responsible for photosynthesis, enters the plant through these stomata. Oxygen also comes out through these stomata. Leaves have important cells called mesophyll cells. These cells contain a green color component called chloroplast. This chloroplast is responsible for the green color of plants and leaves. Once the carbon dioxide and the water reach the chloroplasts in the presence of sunlight, the process of photosynthesis starts to take place. The following reaction takes place in the leaves of the plant during photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of light energy results in oxygen plus glucose or carbohydrates. The products formed are glucose and oxygen. Carbohydrates, which are a form of glucose, are synthesized from carbon dioxide and water. Glucose is used by the plants for their growth. Some of the glucose is used immediately, and the extra glucose, which is not used, is stored in the form of starch in the leaves. Some amount of this extra glucose is also stored in the roots of the plants. This extra glucose is used to perform photosynthesis when there is no sunlight. Oxygen is given out into the air through the stomata in the process of photosynthesis. The oxygen that is released is used by human beings to breathe during their respiration process. Ever wondered why this process is called photosynthesis? Well, the word photosynthesis is a combination of two Greek words, photo and synthesis. 
Photo means light in Greek, and synthesis means putting together or combining. Hence, photosynthesis literally means combining water or carbon dioxide in the presence of light. So the essential factors for photosynthesis to take place include sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Underwater photosynthesis takes place at a slower pace than the normal photosynthesis. This is because energy from the sun is absorbed by the water layers and only some amount of energy actually reaches the plant. There are some plants which don't need the process of photosynthesis to grow. Such plants include mushroom, Venus flytraps, etc. Mushrooms get their food from the ground and from their surrounding areas. Venus flytraps trap and catch small insects which come near the leaves and eat them. Bye-bye.